I'm Grace Mayer. I teach art here at Milagro Middle School. We're advocating for our students by making art, banners, posters, signs that we're going to bring to a rally on the 23rd of January um, to our Capitol building. It brings together art and advocacy for public education. There's a couple of things going on in Santa Fe. We have an issue with affordable housing because there's a lot of um, folks that are new to the profession that can't find affordable rental units or other housing for themselves and their families. And that's near and dear to me. And also, uh, as a renter, I understand that because rents only go up, they never go down. And we're being sort of pushed out. Things have been really difficult for a long time. Right now, we have a lot of teacher vacancies because uh, we have an aging workforce that's retiring. And it's just become overwhelming, the amount of work that we are being asked to do because of the lack of uh, teachers. It seems like the societal ills of poverty and you know, uh, homelessness and various things that our society is dealing with has been dumped on public educators. And having to educate and respond in all these different ways is really challenging and a struggle. And for those of us who have been in the profession a while, you know, maybe we can manage it, for, but for new people who are not as engaged in the profession the way we are, we have a, you know, we have an issue because it's just too overwhelming for them. So they leave the profession, over 50% leave the profession be, before the first five years. Educators need the pay to stay. So we need raises, considerable and substantial raises um, over a series of years and we need to raise the the base pay for many of our classified employees to a minimum of $15 an hour. But at this point in Santa Fe, we really need it to be 18 or $21 to dollars an hour to keep up with the demand of other professions. Now there's a lot of jobs available. And so I don't know why you would work for a public school system if you're, if you can work at a, you know, a restaurant or another place for $21 an hour. Hopefully you have a commitment to education and students and the community, but it's really challenging to find those, those folks. But the other thing that you know, we're dealing with here is uh, access to affordable childcare for our employees. Our employees pay, spend $900 to $1,200 a month to put their children in daycare centers. And you know, that's like most of their paycheck for two weeks. So they can't afford to raise their families here. And it's really, you know, it's really challenging to have people stay when, when they can't raise a family in the community that they work in. And it's really, you know, disheartening that we have people moving out of state because they, the housing costs are, you know, out of bounds and childcare for their own children is, is not even accessible to them. We're gonna have a rally at the Roundhouse where we're gonna, um, join with other uh, union members uh, from the city and from uh, Albuquerque, uh, AFT, AFSME, IATSE, and we're going to ask that these, uh, this situation be addressed and, you know, in our city generally, but in Santa Fe, but around uh, the state in New Mexico, we have shortages, 1,700 vacancies, a thousand of those are in for teachers, 700 for educational assistance, and that's a huge problem for us. So we need the pay to stay. We need to up the salaries. We need people to recognize that we're doing everything we can in a p pandemic to serve our students, but we need to also be able to raise our families here and live a decent uh, you know, existence. If our community really values the work we do, then they should be paying us a living wage. I just think that you know, this kind of work, um, combining art and advocacy and trying to move things forward for our employees, it's really a good way to, to have everybody understand like it's not just about you know, one individual, it's a group effort. And this community art build is a group effort for people to creatively kind of express and move through these ideas and then take this work and our voices down to the capitals. I just hope that people join us.